O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. You are my rescuer, my help. O Lord, do not delay. the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And for us to celebrate these sacred mysteries worthily, we acknowledge our sins. Be sorry for them, then we ask for the mercy of God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Numbers. The whole congregation of the children of Israel arrived in the desert of Zin in the first month, and the people settled at Kadesh. It was here that Miriam had died, and here that she was buried. As the community had no water, they held a council against Moses and Aaron. The people contended with Moses, exclaiming, would that we too had perished with our kinsmen in the Lord's presence. Why have you brought the Lord's assembly into this desert where we and our livestock are dying? Why did you lead us out of Egypt only to bring us to this wretched place which has neither grain nor figs nor vines nor pomegranates? Here there is not even water to drink. But Moses and Aaron went away from the assembly to the entrance of the meeting tent where they fell prostrate. Then the glory of the Lord appeared to them and the Lord said to Moses, take your staff and assemble the community, you and your brother Aaron, and in their presence, order the rock to yield its waters. From the rock you shall bring forth water for the congregation and their livestock to drink. So Moses took his staff from its place before the Lord as he was ordered. He and Aaron assembled the community in front of the rock where he said to them, Listen to me, you rebels. Are we to bring water for you out of this rock? Then, raising his hand, Moses struck the rock twice with his staff, and water gushed out in abundance for the people and their livestock to drink. But the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Because you were not faithful to me in showing forth my sanctity before the children of Israel. You shall not lead this community into the land I will give them. These are the waters of Meribah, where the children of Israel contended against the Lord and where the Lord revealed his sanctity among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. 
If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tested me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Let us all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our readings today, they are full of awe about who God is. But we can only understand and appreciate these things if we have a personal relationship with God, authentic faith. Then you will have this growing realization. In today's Gospel reading, This is the fruit of the personal relationship of Peter to God. If ever he was able to say, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. That's Jesus Christ said, flesh and blood. You didn't have this. You were not able to declare this because of your intelligence. But Jesus Christ said, It was because of the power of God. Revealed by my heavenly Father. It means relationship. From that relationship with God, you will be, you will 
you will really reap fruits of it and the fruits would be realizations madalo nga pagintindi sa Dios amo gali ni ang Dios amo nang bunga sang relasyon mo sa Dios ang mga butang nga mga sayop nga pagintindi gina clarify sang Dios ang mga butang nga wala mo pa maintindihan gina pa intindi sa imo sang Dios and so you grow in holiness Because holiness demands knowledge. It demands knowledge. How can you be holy if you don't know what you're doing is right? Oh. So, ga require sang knowledge, sakto ang pag-insindi, ipangabuhi mo na, then you grow in holiness. You know that what you're doing is right. You know that the way you praise God is right. Oh. Din mo na makuha. Sa isa lang kapungko, hindi. Isa lang kapungko, simbahan, mabuot ka doon, hindi. Patubuon mo na yung relationship mo sa Diyos, adlaw-adlaw. As I have said yesterday, kadamo sa mga tao, for 40 years and more than, gasimba-gasimba, wala sang improvement. Spiritually nga, ah, kay wala man sila sa personal relationship kay God. It's just an activity na himo nila. Do field demonstration lang. Tanan-tanan. Di wala. Exterior lang. Pakitang tao. Wala sang interior life. So here, the head of the disciples later on, Peter, though he was very vulnerable, he had his own personal relationship with God. And the fruit of it was his declaration, You are Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus said, It was my Heavenly Father who revealed this to you because of your relationship with my Heavenly Father. But mind you, my dear friends, this declaration of Peter is not just Once, but along the way, he will have his own many growing realizations. Damo pa ipain sindi niya. And what is that? Following the gospel reading, Jesus Christ was showing to them that they would go to Jerusalem, for he will suffer and die. Now, ari naman. Ang pag-insindi ni Peter, kung Diyos ka, hindi ka, madao, hindi ka mag-agi sa kasakit. Oh, Amo na pag-insindi niya. Kung Diyos kaya, wala sa may makadaog sa imo, wala sa may makaano sa imo. Ah, Damos sa mga pag-insindi na hindi tsakto. Oh, Ging clarify na. Because of his relationship with Jesus. Oh, Peter set Jesus aside said, Lord, this should not happen to you. For Peter, it's too much to handle. Do hindi ko na yung mabato na amunin ang Diyos matabo sa iyahaw. Hindi na ni pwede ya. Hindi na ni sa Diyos ko mag-amunin, mag-suffer pa siya. O, oh, kita mo? May mga concept kita sa Diyos na ginapilit ang Diyos mag-fit in sa concept ta. <laughs> Teko, wala kita sa personal relationship hindi na purify we continue to to struggle we continue to argue meriba and masa would again surface lalison tang Diyos hindi ka na dapat magamo sina kay Diyos ka dapat amo ng imong mga ways oh, ginalalis na pa ang Diyos because may ara kita nga gina make believe nga concept sa Diyos. Ha? Gahimok-himok kita. O si Peter, may arak man sa gali. Hindi magali totally nga clean yun ang iya sa Diyos. Una, declaration, okay gito. Ikadwa, hindi na sakto. Yan. It's too much to handle, Lord. Hindi niya dapat matabo sa imo. And Jesus Christ told Peter, Get away from me or get behind from me, you Satan. The way you think is not as God does. 
you see? But as human beings do. Your personal relationship with God would purify the way you think and understand God. And it will bring you to the right understanding of who God is. God will reveal to the person who is trying to develop and establish and nourish relationship with Him. God will reveal to that person everything. And that person will have everything and the way he would see things and live life would be different. Galain ang tao, basta may aras ang madalum kang tanan sa Diyos. May makita ka mo na. Masin ka anong ginakaon niya nga do galain ng iya yung mga gawi. Galain, kaayo, kamaayo batasan, di niya nigin kuha man. It's personal relationship with God. So not only Peter, but in the history of the church, I would mention two saints. One, Saint Thomas Aquinas. He had this beatific vision. Beatific vision. A grace from God na nakita yung Diyos face to face. Agrasya na sa Diyos siya. Iya na sa Diyos. In that beatific vision, no? He had this opportunity and a grace to encounter God and God revealed to Thomas Aquinas things that Thomas Aquinas thought that he didn't have everything. Nagsulat sa suma, theologike, tanan, perfect. Abi, ang muna ginatanan-tanan ang Diyos. You read. Ang kay Thomas Aquinas na sinulatan, Abi, ang muna na tanan-tanan. After the beatific vision, pinahiga niya tanan ang gintang sulat niya. It's nothing. You see? Kadalom sang Diyos. Kadamo pa sang hindi pa maintindihan. Kagula ta pa manbalaan sa Diyos. Thomas Aquinas set aside everything that he has written. It's nothing compared to what he saw and to whom he talked to God. Kalayo-layo. Niya do wala ganit kakamalingking sang Diyos. Ang pinangsulat ko galing. So this would tell us, my dear friends, the importance of authentic faith. Because in the midst of uncertainties, in the midst of beyond our control, we have something firm and solid to hold on to. That relationship with God. Come strong winds, come earthquakes, come floods, we still stand strong and firm. In today's first reading, ari naman, nagkumod-kumod naman ang mga tao kay God. Hindi lang kay wala pagkaon, wala sudan, wala naman tubig. Is in the desert of Zin, place Kaddish, Kaddish means sacred, sanctified. So the people said, what is sacred here? Wala tubig, sacred. Scarcity, sacred. Uh, you know, my dear friends, the way God works and the way God does is so different from the way we understand things. Ang pag-insindi nato niya, Kung tanan okay, ara ang Diyos. Pero kung hindi okay, wala na ang Diyos. Oh. Where is sacredness and sanctity in the desert? A place of meager and even a place of nothing. Where is that sacredness there? Oh. God will reveal 
if you have a personal relationship in Him, you will really feel and experience God's presence even in the unfamiliar, even beyond your comfort zone. God is there. If you have a personal relationship with Him, you will recognize God and you will grow in many realizations, even in the midst of scarcity, in the midst of danger and threat in life. Pero, galing ka may mga concept kita nga aton, and we force God, dapat sulod ka sa pag-insindi ko, amo na pag ko, dapat amo ka sini, piliton ta ang Diyos. Di ma-purify na na kung may personal relationship kita gatadlong, gaayo, gakorek. Now, in that place of Kaddish, they complain. Moses and Aaron entered the meeting, the tent of meeting. So beautiful. The tent of meeting to meet together, no, to meet God. Nangayo sila sang bulig sa Diyos. Tent of meeting. Mind you, my dear friends, you know, ang conducive place for us to encounter God is tent of meeting, is the church. Just come. You will encounter God in the church. People who are very problematic, they will go to the church, sit there in silence. Some would be crying languishing, grieving. Just sit there sa kilid lang sang simbahan, gapong ko. Nasulbar problema nila? No. The problem still there. But when they leave the church, they're full of serenity, tranquility. Why? Isa lang gin, encountering God. When you encounter God, there will be growing realizations that even in the midst of uncertainty in your life, God is there. God never abandons anybody. So beautiful ang personal relationship. So they went to the tent of meeting to meet God, to encounter God, Moses and Aaron, and they received instructions from God how to respond to the complaint and grumbling of the people. But you know, my dear friends, you read the book of Psalms, chapter 95. So beautiful. God said, For 40 years I endured this generation, but their hearts go astray. And I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. For 40 years, as yesterday, every day, when they reconnoitered that promised land, would be equivalent to one year because of their disbelief and disobedience to God. Their hearts grow, go astray. Nagatala ang tigipusun sang tao kung ang iya paginsindi sa Diyos, hindi chakto. Gahimo-himo lang sa sang iya. Ang luyag, iya lang iya. Kagpilito niyang Diyos, magsulod sa iya luyag. Wala na personal relationship ng kabuhi. I tell you that. And many times, we go comfortable with that because we want to always be in control. But God is different. When He reveals to you, you'll be out of control. And I would like to mention the experience of another saint, Saint John of the Cross. I could not have now part of the poem of the dark night of the soul of Saint John of the Cross. He mentioned this so beautifully that the experience of the soul and Christ Jesus, whenever one goes into the dark night, Silinya, what you know. You will never say you know it when you go to that experience of purification. 
Dark night of the soul is your experience, your personal relation with God, and God's best gift to you to purify everything of how you understand Him and how does God do things. Siling niya, His experience, what I know, I don't bank on them. I don't hold on them anymore. Siling niya, siling niya dyan, the cross. When you are there, you will be in your uncontrollable, uncontrollable. Hindi mo na naiya, kapyut, gwa ka na na. No, unknowing. Yeah, you will experience the unknowingness. So beautiful. These two, Saint Thomas Aquinas, Saint John of the Cross, encountering in their personal relationship with God, God Himself, they declared things so different. But it became, it became a good thing for them. They became better people. We don't say because santo sila. No. It's only later na patay sila, gindeclare sila nga canonized saint. It's because of their personal relationship with God. So, the place was called Meriba and Masa because these people, they go astray. Their hearts go astray. They don't want to believe in the way God reveals to them everything, how good He is, a provider, a protector. Hindi sila magpati because they have their own concept. Tagdara sila gahold, tiga ulo ng mga tao. So, it was called Meriba because they're arguing. Palalalis, ang munang Meriba. Masa because they put God to the test. Is Meriba and Masa, do they still exist? They do exist until now. Every time ang tao maglalis, nagatuhaw ang Meriba. Every time ang tao would put God to the test, that Masa would surface again, would exist. The Meriba and Masa is in each one of us. hard-headedness pagkating ka ulo. Gagwa-guwa na. The only way, the only way to be healed from this is our personal openness to God. When we encounter Him every day, either in good times and bad times, God is there. And He will reveal to you many things and you grow in realization. In the desert, God revealed to them something. In the place where there is polytheism in Caesarea Philippi, God revealed something to them. God is everywhere. But just be open and be ready because you'll be in awe when you encounter God, so many things that you think would be changed and replaced by God what is right and perfect. And that would be our journey to our own personal holiness. Peter was given the grace to confess Jesus as the Christ, the Son of the living God. But he must know that Jesus chose to be the Messiah who suffers. Let us confess the cross of Jesus as the power and the wisdom of God. Lord, let us be faithful to your church. Lord, let us be faithful to your church. May we remain faithful to the church founded by Christ on Peter and the Apostles, and given the authority to forgive sins, we pray. Lord, let us be faithful to your church. May the Lord protect the Pope, the successor of Peter, with the strength and guidance of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Lord, let us be faithful to your church. May we see Jesus as the Messiah, 
who first must suffer before entering into his glory, we pray. Lord, let us be faithful to your church. May we accept suffering and humiliation as path to glory. For Christ suffered for us, leaving us an example so that we may follow in his steps, we pray. Lord, let us be faithful to your church. May we follow Jesus, not only in good times, but also when hard times come, when the cross casts its shadow on us, we pray. Lord, let us be faithful to your church. And Lord our God, we will never understand Jesus as the Messiah without the cross. For it is not so much by his powerful deeds, but by his cross that he saved the world. Help us to embrace his cross by which we attain salvation. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. And graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your lift spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to Let the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanks gives itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company of the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Patricia our Bishop, and all the clergy. Also remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god blessed joseph her most chaste spouse the blessed apostles with saint sebastian saint zeli and louis martin saint therese of the child jesus and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer shadow the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. <coughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. I only say the word, my soul shall be healed. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will not hunger, and whoever believes in me will not thirst. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those who renew with these heavenly gifts, and your, in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uracem Pirata on the threat from COVID-19. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cure for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. May the outpouring of your blessings on the 75th year foundation anniversary of Carmel Obtain for the human family the healing graces and strength of faith so needed and that a renewal of relationship with God through prayer change our hearts and lives for the better. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, help of all Christians and health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Sebastian. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Rubis. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.